So I have uh, Junish Gopani with me, Head of Equities, uh, Access Mutual Fund, Junish. Good evening and welcome to the show. Uh, so we'll be talking about Access Long Term Equity and my first question to you is, uh, uh, what exactly is so different about this fund? I mean, uh, uh, why do you think an investor in this category of ELSS should be going for Access Long Term Equity? Because if we see, almost all AMCs have their ELSS funds that they offer in their bouquet. But uh, what is so different about Access Long Term Equity? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, when we started our tax saver fund in 2009, uh, the whole idea was to uh, demonstrate something different in terms of how the capability of the fund manager and the team to create wealth for the investor. And uh, the good part uh, any fund manager would want is the stability of capital or the AUM in the fund. And that is how we change, even we change our name from Axis Tax Saver Fund to Axis Long Term Equity Fund. And as I said, the fund manager likes to have AUM, uh, which is locked up for three years, and uh, it helps uh, fund manager to take a long term call on any company from a three to five year view. So I think uh, that is how we played this uh, investment story in Axis Long Term Equity. And uh, results are here to say that uh, from a, from a, uh, base of uh, 1 crore, now we are at a size of uh, the latest fact sheet which shows around uh, 29 to 30,000 crores. So clearly uh, it is all about wealth creation for the investor and that is how uh, the lock-in nature of the product helps a uh, fund manager to invest more judiciously with a longer term view. All right. What also I'm sure is what separates you is the philosophy of the fund and particularly uh, the fund house philosophy. But then having said that, how uh, in general an ELSS scheme is different from a regular equity mutual fund? No, I think in general, uh, if you really see the basic difference is you get the tax benefit, uh, what an investor would really want, especially retail investors uh, who are investing uh, on a SIP model and uh, they get regular tax benefit for a yearly purpose, which is good for them. So it's it's sort of a tax-free return kind of a, a story uh, an investor can uh, go for. Uh, I think uh, the other funds, uh, obviously, apart from this tax benefit, the uh, feature of the fund is the lock-in period, where, as I said, that fund manager can invest uh, with a longer-term view as with a other open-ended scheme where there could be a sort of a question mark in terms of investing very, very long term view because of the nature of the product, which is open ended and there is subject to uh, 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 the inflows and the outflows on a, uh, on a day in day out uh, basis. Uh, the tax uh, break what an investor get plus uh, the fund manager can invest with a longer term view is, is a difference I would say helps uh, to create this fund. Yeah. All right, uh, let's talk about one year uh, uh, analyzed return, which I think is currently in negative. Although this kind of scheme and it being an equity scheme, one can decide to be for a longer uh, time horizon. A compulsory three years lock-in is, is, is something that you must obey to. But then uh, uh, talking about one year's performance, where exactly the stress uh, was there that you felt and that's also been reflected in the uh, returns right now? See, I think, Kavita, we have to understand the philosophy of how Axis runs its portfolio. Uh, clearly, we are known for quality and growth. And uh, if you really see last two years of COVID and the momentum and the value trade, which uh, uh, did well. So I think uh, it is all about style preference. Uh, uh, we have seen over a longer periods of time, markets are slaves to earnings growth. And as and when the earnings growth uh, starts compounding, uh, for a particular company, uh, eventually the returns are uh, made there. So I think it is more of a style preference, uh, which is showing you those numbers. But otherwise, if you take uh, five year, uh, ten year, then I think we are in the we are we are doing pretty well. All right, let's talk about your sector preferences because uh, I also want to understand the fund manager's role in an uh, ELSS fund. Uh, 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 do you operate like a normal fund manager or like a normal equity fund manager where you have specific allocations or do you think the ELSS theme uh, under which this particular category comes, you're, you're bound to certain exposures only? How does it work and what are your sectoral uh, 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 selections currently? So I think the good part of this uh, product is it gives enough leeway to the fund manager to participate for a long-term stories. 
uh, and that is where uh, the difference uh, really it matters that uh, the fund manager is looking for wealth creation uh, generally that is how we do that uh, it is more about wealth creation from any company than just looking at returns on a on a yearly basis uh, so the compounding plays a very important role uh, based on our philosophy we have a universe of stocks uh, based on that stocks we have invested into around 35 plus companies uh, where we take a good size bets uh, looking into long term nature of the uh, product as well as uh, the philosophy which runs into buying into more consistent and compounding names india is a domestic consumption driven economy gdp multiplier factors uh, really bodes very well uh, for a wealth creation and that is how you see the sectoral break up you will see financials which is like an evergreen story for india you will see auto auto ancillaries you will see consumption basket you will see retail basket so that is how we have position our uh, product uh, more accounting is what uh, one should look at from the product and that is how we have invested into some of the uh, large sectors uh, where we really feel that uh, those sectors and the companies are here to stay for 5 10 15 20 year period uh, now a uh, three years lock in is a compulsory thing uh, in an ELSS scheme okay now uh, what if the fund is performing uh, negative and a three years lock in is over and uh, uh, whatever the kind of period an investor wants to be invested in is almost over and the fund is performing negative do you have uh, 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 the leverage to be uh, invested to stay invested for a longer period of time in this particular fund should you redeem what should be an investor strategy see i think uh, the past right track record would give us the glimpse of uh, what we have done over year after year i think generally business cycles styles go through a period of ups and downs and i my my advice would be if you are happy with the portfolio if you are looking at long term or then exit at a time when uh, there is a turnaround in the style and you might miss out uh, the the positive side of the story as and when the style comes back now a lot of people uh, say that if the fund size is huge it gives limited flexibility to the fund manager to actually explore and make changes in the fund strategy we are talking about the fund size that you have is almost uh, uh, um, more than 31000 year so uh, uh, do you think uh, uh, you know you've grown so much in size has uh, actually changed the strategy of the fund how flexible is it or how problematic it is <laughs> no i think uh, given the style what we have uh, as a multi cap strategy i think we don't have any major issue on the flexibility side obviously it's a good challenge to be in uh, that whether you are able to, whether a fund manager is able to manage 30000 crore fund i think it's a, it's a good challenge and i think we have to come out of this challenge i have been asked this question when the fund size was around 5000 crores 15000 crores 25000 crores and we have been able to uh, 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 invest uh, with a longer term view all across as the style uh, comes back you will see uh, a rebound in the performance as well and uh, uh, the flexibility is always there uh, if you don't like any story we uh, really uh, come out of it very very quickly and that is the research uh, uh, and the fundamental approach what we really take that if we go wrong in any strategy we will have to uh, we have to come out of that stock very quickly so i think uh, flexibility is not an issue it's a multi cap strategy 65% of the portfolio is large cap rest, rest is mid and small even the quality of the portfolio if you really see we have not seen any major impact cause even in times of selling out any story so i think the quality of the uh, stocks uh, really helps us to even uh, exit any story if required all right uh, how has been the portfolio turnover and have you managed to keep it low janesh yeah i think it's it's more about uh, patience game you have to go through the business cycle of the company where you are invested so long you are right in the corporate governance aspect of the uh, company so long you are uh, uh, happy with the way company has been navigating different business cycle i think there is no point in uh, doing entry exit in the portfolio uh, just for the sake of uh, doing churning so if you really see the portfolio turnover taking out uh, the dividend aspect of the portfolio where we have to sell the stock to book uh, dividends which we paid to the investor i think uh, the portfolio churns are very very low 
All right. Now, uh, just for an investor understanding, should you be uh, investing through an SIP for the period of three year in an ELSS or uh, a lump sum is a better way to do that? <laughs> See, Kavita, it all depends on the uh, risk appetite and uh, uh, the preference of the investor. If an investor is a new to market kind of an investor, and I, then I think uh, uh, 30, 40 lump sum and then go for SIP. If investor is already invested into uh, uh, this scheme or any other scheme, then I think SIP is the best route with a, with a three to four year horizon. All right, that will be all on Access uh, Long Term Equity. Thank you so much, uh, Junesh Kapani, for joining in and explaining all the nitty gritties with this fund. Pleasure. Thank you so much.